how war arose in heaven. Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was defeated, and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. And the great dragon was thrown down. That ancient serpent who was called the devil and Satan, the deceiver of the whole world, he was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. So Levi brought me out here to see children. You never know. Maybe they're an army of killer children. Why am I here? Hello to you too, my babe. Answer the question. Why am I here? I just wanted to see my big brother. I don't have time for your antics, Sam. I'm on a mission. Oh, very important. Are you sure? Yeah. But so is what I have to say. So maybe you could find a little compassion to hear me out. Ooh, that was tense. I didn't think you'd say yes. Neither did I. Are you up for a game? <laughs> so, you risk showing yourself for a game of chess. I do like to keep you guessing. <laughs> Will you just relax? What are the stakes? How about your soul? <laughs> How about no? <laughs> White, I assume. Hmm. After you. So how is the family business, anyway? It's good. Um, it's got its, uh... It's got its ups and downs. <laughs> um, but we're in growth mode. How nice. Dad must be thrilled. See, we don't have to do this. It didn't have to be this way. There was a place for you, with us. <laughs> Not the one I want. Brother, you're gonna have to get over that. Oh, sure. Why don't we just call it a family disagreement and hug it out? What did you think was gonna happen when you attempted this whole takeover? What did you think the father was gonna do? I deserved the throne. No. <laughs> no, you didn't deserve the throne. It was, it was never yours. So everyone keeps telling me. Is that why I'm here? To listen to you complain about decisions that you made? No, you heard his version of it. You didn't even bother talking to me before he had you throw me out of the house. If oh, if Dad were here... I'm Dad not would... talking to Dad. I'm talking to you. You're my brother. And whether you believe it or not, that still means something to me. Sam, when you chose power over loyalty, my decision was made. Ah, but you do have a choice. Don't you hate Dad for pitting us against each other like this? We could be a family again. Put an end to this pointless fighting. You really don't care, do you? The great Michael, willing to kill his own brother to make Daddy happy. Don't put this on me. Sam, I talked to you over and over again, trying to talk you out of this. But no, you, you went through with it. Because you're selfish. You've always been selfish. And you chose him over me. I was more loyal to you than he ever was. I'll always choose my father. Then you're in my way. Sam. Sam, stop! <sighs> or 
I will make you Samael. It's not my name. <laughs> Things are different. Sure. Sloppy, if you're an enemy, you be dead. I have a lot on my mind. Take it, Michael did it right. Worth a shot. I could have told you his answer. Saved you the embarrassment of losing. <sighs> Mind your tongue, Tanil. What's the plan now? Well, the next few months will shift the tide of the war. My father has found some very special individuals that pose a great threat to my plan. So, we must destroy them before they embrace their destinies. If they're that important, they'll be heavily protected. And the fighting over them will be intense. <laughs> You're not scared, are you? No. Good. Meet me later at the high rise. You left me no choice. Who's that? The great Archangel Michael, walking on Earth with us poor fallen spirits. I guess Sam didn't like my answer. Well, you know how sensitive the boss is. Guys. We don't need to do this. Pathetic. The list of targets has been sent to our operatives. And Michael? What do you think? Those idiots didn't stand a chance. I don't know why you bothered sending them. It made me feel better. Don't waste your time playing with him. It's just gonna blow up in all of our faces. My brother, my call. Your only concern now is finding this. It's a knife. Very good. You can't kill an angel with a knife. Trust me, I've tried plenty of times. Well, this is no ordinary knife. This belonged to the Israelite queen, Jezebel. Okay. Do I really need to explain our history to you? The centuries tend to blur together. Well, Jezebel was the Israelite queen during the prophet Elijah's time. She ordered the destruction of all of my father's prophets. And this knife was used to kill each one. It slayed so many, in fact, that it was infused with dark power. Enough to kill an angel. Exactly. The perfect deterrent should any of my angelic siblings decide to interfere with my plan. Any idea where the knife is now? It was last seen in the Cairo Museum three years ago, before it mysteriously vanished. 
any leads besides the uh, drawing. I'm afraid that's all you get. Can I count on you? I'll find it. Remember, you are loved by God. Every child is a precious gift to him. Hey, Mr. Levi, when did Jesus come back? No one knows for sure. Hmm? But if you love him and you believe in him and you follow him, then he's already here with you. I'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye. All right. Oh, I Go. <laughs> oh, so good to see you, sir. So good. Oh, it's the landing location. There's nobody there. I decided to visit the children at this church. They always bring me joy, and their hearts are always so open. Yeah. <laughs> so, what happened to you? Uh, it looks <laughs> like you ran into a different kind of welcoming committee. <laughs> oh. I know Father created you to be a warrior. But have you tried using your words <sighs> instead of your fists? Sir, I only fight when provoked, you know that. Yes, and to deter evil. I just wish I wasn't held back by this humanly form. I miss my abilities, I feel, feel vulnerable, I feel weak. I know that look. What's on your mind? It's Sam. It didn't take him long. It wasn't just his words, sir. It was him. He was different. Wounded, desperate. Like an animal, caged. I didn't like it. Sir, can I ask you a question? What's happening? Something's always happening. No. What's happening now? A long overdue spiritual revival is about to happen. It'll cause a ripple effect across the world and turn the tide of the war. I don't know how that's possible. I think you do. This movement poses a great threat to Sam's control on Earth. It's probably why you felt that desperation around him. Of course. It's been a while since you were last here on Earth, hasn't it? Yeah. 9-11. It's a tragic day. Yeah. I was directing the, uh, the firefighters and the police officers, trying to get them to safety. And the other angels hold out the pillars, the bodies. Sir, what humanity can do makes you lose your faith. That's why I came and rescued them. You were there. Michael. I need you to stay here on Earth and be a watcher again. Sam is going to try and destroy the leaders of the revival. They will need your protection and help to stay on the path that Father has planned for them. I've been a watcher before. It's a little hands-on. No. 
fight the battles they cannot see, offer guidance where they need it. When called upon, I'll serve. This will be good for you. Being around their faith will renew your hope for them. I don't know. If you check with Gabriel, this is more his, uh, his cup of tea. You sound like Moses. <laughs> your back. Yes, Sam sir. will throw everything he can at you. Yes, sir. I love you. I love you too, Michael. Thank you. What's up, Bruza? How's it y'all? Great. Who sent you after me? Man, come on. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask you again. Who sent you? Okay. Kadriel. <sighs> Sam's little errand boy. What did he want? He said it was a chance to prove ourselves. <laughs> How'd that work out for you? What else? Look at me. Anything else? Nothing. Anything no. else? <clears throat> There's a guy we're supposed to rough up. Who? Some pastor in Chicago. Give me a name. Oh. Give me a name! I don't know his name! You know his name. I will drag it right out of you. What's his name? It's Cullen. It's Tom Cullen. Why him? How should I know? Just a soldier. <laughs> you are no soldier. Picking on the little guys again, Michael? Not very angelic of you. What are you doing here, Cadrill? Uh, I wish I could help you. We're, we're on different teams, remember? What? Am I supposed to be scared of you? Who's Tom Collin? Ah, uh, gosh, you're too late. Collins will never lead the revival. Uh, <coughs> so that's why he's so important. Uh, uh. I'll see you in Chicago soon.